Art galleries come in all shapes and sizes, but on a recent trip to Asheville, producer Rob Holiday found a place that is a little out of the mainstream. It's called Zapow Illustrative Art Gallery, and it's turned into a popular spot for tourists and locals alike. The facade out front is fairly routine, but the similarities between Zapow and most other art galleries end at the front door, and that's entirely by design. We wanted to showcase illustration and narrative artwork as the amazing fine art that it is. So many places in the United States do not showcase illustration and even look down on it as a lower, more base form of art. That's certainly not the case at Zapal, a gallery created in 2011 where illustration and pop art hang prominently instead of being stashed in the corners. Illustration by its very nature means that it illustrates a idea through visual imagery versus being more convoluted or hidden. It's not the sort of thing that you have to have a master's degree to understand. Even the name of the gallery has its roots in illustration. Zapal kind of ties into that because it's part of comics, which comics are often considered a lowbrow or lower art as well. We wanted people to be able to remember it. We wanted it to kind of have a pop to it have a, you know, so that when you, it was a fun thing to say. The name helps set the tone for the place. The fun factor is a lot higher in an illustration gallery. All you have to do in a gallery like this is continue walking all the way around and, and you will find what you love. And it could come in several different forms, traditional canvas, watercolor, sculpture, even neon and wood. The variety reflects the number of artists who put their work on display at Zapal. We currently have 102 artists from all over the country, as well as one from England, on display here at Zapal. Many of them are nationally and internationally published illustrators and artists. They have worked for everything from Time Magazine to The New Yorker to Marvel. 1,500 pieces, kind of at a minimum. So it's a lot to take in for sure. And we're just under 5,000 square feet. One of the first things you'll notice off the bat is that it's really approachable. What we hear over and over again is that this is their favorite gallery. This is the first time that they felt really comfortable and excited to be in a gallery. Even though the feel of Zapal is fun and lighthearted, the selection process for the work that's shown here is plenty serious. It is like a museum, a curated space. It is not just a hodgepodge of things that have been thrown together. Each artist has been hand-picked. We have a juried process. This is a really fantastic gallery. I get to see people walking in the door and people are just happy in here. They're happy and um, they buy artwork. The artwork is affordable. Every, all the artists make, they'll have you know, maybe an original that's more expensive, but then they'll sell prints and the prints are you know, anywhere from $5 to you know, 45 or something like that. So that's affordable. The fun factor and price point are two of the main reasons Katie Cleveland visits Zapal regularly, even though she lives more than an hour away in Tennessee. Asheville's got lots of beautiful galleries that have more traditional landscape paintings, things like that. Here you can come and you can see things that are really out of the box. It's just so bright and fun that you can't help but be drawn in here. And all of it's so reasonably priced that I always walk out of here with a couple pieces for my house. It's always something different. It's never the same thing. Every month or so they change their whole set up and people move stuff around so it's never really the same. While the display walls and the work that hangs on them can vary, the mission that led Lauren Patton to create Zapal is a constant. She no doubt wants visitors to leave with a piece of art in tow, but that's not the only thing she hopes her guests take away. I would love for people to come into the gallery. Maybe they'd never even heard of the idea of illustration before, but they come in and they find that this is an artwork, artwork and an art style that they love, enjoy, and have a new appreciation for it. In Asheville, I'm Rob Holiday for North Carolina Weekend. The Pow Illustrative Art Gallery is located at 21 Battery Park Avenue, Suite 101 in Asheville. It's closed on Tuesdays, but opens at noon every other day of the week with extended hours on Friday and Saturdays. For more information, please visit their website at zapow.com or give them a call at 828-575-2024.